I'm going to introduce you now to the tools that we use to improve our irrigation management, water, nutrients and salt. This here is a full stop wetting front detector. This is buried in the soil and this one's telling you how deep water moves down into the soil and it also collects a, a, a water sample from the soil which we'll talk about later. This is a chameleon reader. It's connected to sensors that look like this that are placed at different depths in the soil and this one tells you our how hard it is for the plants to get the water back out of the soil. So the chameleon reader has four lights and they each represent a different depth in the soil from the top to the bottom of the soil, four different depths. The top one is blue, then green, green, and the lowest one is red. Now, the color tells you how hard a plant has to suck to get water out of the soil. Uh, if the water is easy to get out of the soil, the color will be blue, and I can represent that using the sponge. A squeeze is like a plant extracting water, and a light squeeze gives us a lot of water. But when you've taken some water out of the soil, uh, the light will then turn green. And when the light is green, the plant has to suck a little bit harder. So I'm squeezing harder now. I'm still getting some water, but it's not quite as easy to get the water out of the soil. There's enough water there, but the plant's working a bit harder. After green, the light will turn red. At that point, it's hard to get the water out of the soil. I can, uh, there's a little bit there, I can squeeze it out, but I really have to uh, put a lot of effort into squeezing that last bit of water out of the soil. Right, okay, so this is about getting water out. Coming back to the full stop. When the flag is up, it means it's collected a water sample down the bottom. There's a, a reservoir and a filter. The water is uh, focused by the funnel. Uh, some liquid water runs through that filter, gets caught in this reservoir, and I can suck it out using this green tube. Now that's very important because the irrigation water I put on top of the soil is not the same as the water that I collect inside the soil because the soil will contain more salt and more nutrients. I can measure the salt using this EC meter, a little pocket EC meter. You put the sample in the cup and I'm reading the value and it's 3.6 decisiemens, so that's a bit of a scary number. And I can also do a measurement of the nitrate in the soil. Take out a strip. You can see the strip is white, but when it's dipped into the soil, it starts to go pinky or purple. Okay, you have to wait for a minute for the color to develop, and then you match the color to the chart on the vial. In this case, we're sitting between 100 and 250 parts per million of nitrate, which is plenty of nutrients in the soil.